Hey guys, welcome back to another video on cooking with Anadi. Today it's spaghetti and meatball time, so let's get started right now. Now this recipe is perfect for two. It'll be about three meatballs for each person, four ounces of spaghetti, and about two cups of marinara sauce. And if you want to see how to make my classic marinara sauce, you can check the link in the description box down below. Now the meatballs I'm making today are all beef meatballs. If you like pork in it, I personally do. You can have half beef and half pork. You can also make these all chicken meatballs by simply replacing the beef with the chicken or turkey if you like. So first I have my meat all measured out here in this large bowl. Next we're gonna add some finely chopped onion, garlic and fresh parsley along with half an egg. Next, we want to prepare our panko breadcrumbs. So let's get started and pour some milk right into our breadcrumbs and soak these breadcrumbs until the milk is completely absorbed and your mixture looks like really soggy cereal. This really helps to keep the meat really moist and delicious when it's cooking. So now add in your breadcrumbs which have been soaked with milk along with salt and some pepper. Now finally, Add your parmesan cheese and now let's give it all a good old mix. I prefer to use my hands. You can use a KitchenAid mixer if you're making a large amount of meatballs. I always like to portion my meatballs so they're exactly the same. You can use a scoop for that or a scale. You want to make sure you're making it into a really nice round ball using the inside of your palm. So I'm applying a little bit of pressure and using the inside of my palm to really make it smooth into a nice ball. If it's not compact while they are cooking, they're gonna explode. So now repeat the same for the remaining meat. You'll have six amazing meatballs for you. So our meatballs are ready. So first of all, let's get started and heat up some oil in our pan where we're gonna give our meatballs some color it's gonna put a lot of flavor into our meatballs. So now, start placing your meatballs in the pan. I'm gonna start in counterclockwise direction. It's gonna help me keep track of when I put which meatball, so I know the order in which I have to turn them. Now, some people like to make their spaghetti and meatballs by boiling the meatballs right in their marinara sauce. I personally am not a fan of that. I prefer to cook them separately on a pan, give it a nice sear, because that crust that the meatballs develop really adds a lot of flavor when it's combined at the end with the spaghetti and the marinara sauce. So in the meanwhile, I also have my water boiling for my pasta. Make sure to salt it generously and cook the pasta for about eight to nine minutes or according to the package directions. Now, put your marinara sauce, which you prepared earlier, onto a pan and start simmering it. My pasta is ready. Add the pasta to your sauce and using a pair of tongs, give it a nice mix. I'll just simmer this pasta for 30 seconds. Wow. The exciting part, let's start plating this. Put a nice heap. Here are our delicious meatballs. Some more freshly grated parm. Bit on the meatballs. Then some freshly shipped basil. Oh, just everywhere. This is a little slice of Italy on your plate. And I cannot wait to eat this. I hope you feel the same way. Hit me a like if you do. So there you have it guys. I hope you liked my new and improved version of my spaghetti and meatballs. I think it has come a long way, both visually and taste wise. If you guys like this video or have any requests for me to redo some of my old videos, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to see more awesome videos just like this. And I'll see you guys again on the next one.